I see. So you don't think that the pharmaceutical companies who dominate the advertising landscape with 75% of the funding are corrupt? I don't. Corrupt is a corrupt. very broad. No, 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 no. It's do, you think that, do you think that pharmacy, corrupt do you think with they, a tinge of malevolence, you think willing that, to extract money out of people by putting their health on the line? Do you, you don't believe that, we, that? Do you think that we get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies? Not particularly. <laughs>
because the unvaccinated were going to transmit COVID with more likelihood than the, than the vaccinated. So this wasn't one bloody statement. This I, was no, like no, hold on. third I, what government I, what policy I'm, What I'm saying country. is there wasn't a statement given that if you get vaccinated, there is a 0% chance of transmitting the disease. The idea is that vaccines were supposed to help because it reduces, it reduces vaccine, your hospitalization, <laughs> reduces death, and it reduces Man. transmission, hopefully by making it so that people don't get sick or don't get sick for as long. All three of those things, the vaccines did exceedingly well. They continue to do that to this day, but especially for the first variant um, and then the Delta variant, the vaccines helped immensely here. Um, they were well, tested. The myocarditis rates are like seven out of 100,000 injections. And the myocarditis is generally acute. And it's generally not as bad as even getting the coronavirus itself, which will lead you also to having myocarditis. It's a much worse side effect than side effects that have caused other vaccines to be taken off the market before. That, so, a but seven it, out of 100,000 rate of acute myocarditis or pericarditis is not a worst uh, side effect than any other vaccine. I think that is a completely acceptable, given that the disease itself is more likely to cause myocarditis or pericarditis. Yes, I, I don't totally... think the data suggests to support that presupposition anymore. The latest peer-reviewed studies show that that's simply not true, especially among young men. The, the, so there is an age bracket of young men where the elevated rate of myocarditis, acute myocarditis from the vaccine, might have been higher. But we're talking about like three or four cases per 100,000 people. And again, myocarditis, pericarditis are generally acute conditions. Well, they I don't told last you at for the very beginning, long. I told you at the beginning of this conversation that the progressive leftists were on the side of the pharmaceutical companies. It's not about being on the side of the pharmaceutical companies. It's about- Really? One, <laughs> really, yeah. yeah well, about, I like, see, so what I see, uh, what I see as the unholy part of that alliance with the pharmaceutical companies is that it dovetails with the radical utopians' willingness to use power to impose their utopian vision. Well, then what do you because make otherwise, of the fact how that... would you explain it? Because the leftists should have been the ones that were most skeptical about the bloody pharmaceutical companies. And they jumped on the vaccine bandwagon like in exactly the same shit. way that you're doing right pharmaceutical now. Pharmaceutical companies have helped us tremendously yeah, throughout the- Right, there we go, fine. No, you think modern I don't medicine think hasn't? so. No, I don't think that so. you're just wrong. I think they're you're utterly wrong. I see. So you don't think that the pharmaceutical companies who dominate the advertising landscape with 75% of the funding are corrupt. I don't, corrupt is a corrupt. very broad. No, 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 it's Do targeted. you think that, do you think that pharmacy, Corrupt do you think with they, a tinge of malevolence, you think willing that, to extract money out of people by putting their health on the line. Do you, you don't think believe that, we, that. Do you think that we get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, this is good TV, bro. This shit better than Netflix. God damn. <laughs> hey, I fuck with it. I'm I'm on JP side, of course, bro. Fuck, fuck, Pharma. Fuck, Big Tech. Fuck all these motherfuckers, bro. Like you gotta be living in fucking Pluto to think otherwise, bro. They rape you to pump meds in you to keep you sick, to keep you coming back, to get more meds to stay to stay sick, motherfucker, bro. Pick up some Dr. Seb and read the shit, bitch. You living in fucking La La Land, dog. These pharma companies don't give two shits about nobody, bro. Hell, man. It's just a money grab, dog. It's a money grab, bro. Fuck COVID. Fuck them vaccines. Fuck all that shit, bro. It's a crock of bullshit. Do you, so do you think that any vaccines work? Yes. Do you think that any... I don't think 80 of them work. At once for babies. I, I think that's a little risky. But, but yet we've been on this vaccine schedule for how many decades? Like and babies this. Don't... Like this. Bro, he's so Not lost. Like... He's so lost, bro. I feel like I jumped into this shit, bro. See, I mean, COVID, one thing, bro, that was a whole plot to, I don't know, population control. It was some manufactured terror to get everybody fucked up, bro. But you talking about these vaccines y'all pumping into babies? That's that fucking bullshit for real, bro. I don't need none of that. None of them damn vaccines need to be put in these fucking babies, bro. So then it's, 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 it's an attempt to keep babies retarded. Let's get it, goddamn. Let's get it. Let's ding, ding, round three. And on this vaccine schedule for how many decades? Like and this. Don't... Like this. Not like this. Not carefully. I had a ton of vaccines when I was a child. I'm pretty sure that was the norm for people. There were a ton of vaccines. You had to There's take way it more to... now. This fool blind. Okay. And you think well, that- Well, you can understand why. I mean, look. Had my daughter a few weeks. Every time, like, every time we bring my my, my son in to uh, get checkups now, 
You know what I'm saying? 18 months, 24 months, and they be talking about vaccine this, vaccine that, bro. Vaccine my ass, goddamn. Don't talk to me about no motherfucking vaccines, bro. And they so goddamn pushy about pushing the shit on you, bro. Trying to look at you crazy. You talking about him? We don't want to put no fucking poison in your goddamn baby, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. I wish a motherfucker would. Now, y'all ain't touching none of my kids with nothing. There's nothing to anybody from the other side make me think otherwise. And I'm sure there's nothing I can tell anybody else that is looking at the world like destiny to make them think otherwise, bro. Everybody just lost in the sauce, gonna go whatever the fuck they wanna goddamn go, bro. But fuck a vaccine, dog. Doubt part of it is a consequence of the genuine, genuine willingness to protect children. But the moral hazard is quite clear. And people on the left used to be aware of this. What do you, you make of the fact, what do you think the mRNA vaccine, the speeding up of it came from? How do you make for the fact that it was Donald Trump that didn't Terror. work speed? Facts. Terror. Propaganda. So foolish panicking, just like we're doing with the climate issue. So you think Trump foolish was panicking. Was he in bed with the pharmaceuticals? Was he working with the left? Or was it just a dumb, that was the only panicky thing he made? He didn't try to push for the mass lockdowns like other far left people would have wanted him to do. That was just the one mistake he made was the pushing for the vaccine? No, I think Trump undoubtedly made all sorts of mistakes and lots. And it wasn't, it certainly wasn't only the left that stampeded toward the forced COVID, COVID vaccine um, um, debacle, but it was most surprising to me that it emerged on the left because the left at least had been protected against the depredations of gigantic predatory corporations by their skepticism of, 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 of the gigantic enterprises that can engage in regulatory capture. And that just vanished. Is it not possible that maybe people looked and they said, hey, if all the governments, all the institutions, all the schools, Sheep. all the private companies across all the countries around Sheep. the world are saying the same thing. Yeah. Maybe it is the case that no, this vaccine just it. helps. Is that not possible? No. Oh, sure. They probably, is. That's sure. Of course it's possible. But that didn't mean it was right. Facts. Well, who's they this? used force. Well, if, if, who, they used force. We use force for all sorts of things in terms of public health. We don't health. generally use force to invade people's bodies. How long have vaccine mandates been a thing in no, Canada, tweaking, the United bro. States? and the He's tweaking. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. How many? How many people got fired for who were forced to resign, forced to relocate, forced to move to relocate schools because of vaccine mandates, bro? They forced that shit into the motherfuckers' bodies, and it took people really to goddamn buck on the system, talking about fuck you to keep that shit away from you. They forced people to do that shit. Didn't nobody need to put none of that shit in their fucking bodies, bro? And cut people lost their jobs. You know what I'm saying? Got defamed publicly, looked at crazy, dog. <laughs> Bro, man, they they definitely got them forced that shit into people's bodies. You can't travel, can't go nowhere, bro. For what? For some ter terroristic propaganda. The entire world. I don't think they should have been a thing. That's great I if you don't think they should have been, but when you say we don't Geneva generally use policy. force, we absolutely use force. We use, look, or we, okay, we've enforced look, vaccines for a long time. Okay. It's an important part of our like COVID, Fair bro. Enough. We did it on a scale. Not like no fucking COVID, During the though. COVID pandemic, so-called pandemic, that was unparalleled. And the consequence of that was that we injected billions of people with, with an experimental, and it wasn't a bloody vaccine. Of Just, course it no, was it wasn't. Yes, it it was. Was. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's what, not. Doesn't it have a hundred percent success rate? You think hey, it's a definition of vaccine? Tight. Well, the point of the vaccine is to give your body a protein it's to train on, so the immune system technology. works. Technology. Who cares if it's not the same? There's plenty. Of, there's they different types. They used the word of... vaccine so that they didn't have to contend with the fact that it wasn't the same technology. There are different types of vaccines there certainly that are, are, that are different technologies. Fine. The mRNA vaccines is a type this of used vaccine to be technology. Vaccines. Now this is vaccine. No, it was like this, and now it's like this. No, no, no. It was like this, and now it's like this. The <laughs> MNR, mRNA technology hey, I, hey, I, was I, I a do, radical, I commend, I commend qualitative though, leap. Like he getting, he getting uh, JP emotional, bro. And even though JP will get emotional on you, dog, but like you can tell he's really passionate about this. Shit. Hell, I'm passionate about this too. But like Destiny is 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 goddamn putting a line in the sand, goddamn, bro. Like JP, you're fucked up. You're tweaking, and JP doing the same shit, bro. You're fucking stupid, dog. Our mRNA technology was a radical, qualitative leap forward in technology. You can call it a vaccine if you want to, but it bears very little resemblance to any vaccine that went before that. And the reason it was called a vaccine was because vaccine was a brand name that had a track record of safety and shoehorning it in that was one of the ways to make sure that people weren't terrified of the technology. 
And I you think know the reason it's called a vaccine is because they're injecting you with something that's inoculating you against something in the future because it has proteins that resemble a virus that infects your immune system. There are overlaps between between the mRNA technologies and vaccines. They're talking about semantics sure. now, though. They wouldn't have been put forward with the rate that they were put forward if they weren't a radical new technology. And it's bad in principle to inject billions of people with an untested new technology. Isn't it also bad in principle for billions of people to get infected with a worldwide pandemic that initially was causing a decent number of deaths, a ton of complications, Man. shutting down world economies? Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe it was. So shouldn't we be able to engage like, in that analysis and figure out, like, if we look at the We're not engaging the in the analysis. No, because now we're, we're talking about whether or not vaccines happens. or even vaccines or not instead. No, 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 we're, no, no, don't play that game. That's not what I was doing. <laughs> I was making a very specific and careful case. The mRNA technology, by wide recognition, is an extraordinarily novel technology. And that doesn't make it, it not a vaccine, though. Well... Okay, it's a radically transformed form of vaccine. I don't we give a damn. Updates. That still makes it something <laughs> so new that the potential danger of its mass administration was highly probably, highly probable to be at least or more dangerous than the thing that it was supposed to um, protect against. And we are seeing that in the excess we are deaths. Absolutely not. Saying. So, are you implying now that the excess right. deaths were caused by the vaccines, or I don't? It like I don't bloody well know what they're well, that's caused what you're implying by now. Well, the, look, if you're going to use Occam's razor, you're kind of stuck in an awkward place here. I'm because absolutely are, not stuck in an. This is yes, the most administered vaccine in the hit or inoculation or whatever you prefer to call it in the history of all of mankind. Every single organization around the world is motivated to call this out if it was a bad thing. You don't think Russia or China would be screaming if Donald Trump or the United States warp sped through a vaccine that was having deleterious effects on populations all around the world? You don't think there wouldn't be some academic institution? You don't think there'd be more than a handful of doctors and Joe Rogan and some conservatives saying this vaccine might have been bad if it was the case that American companies working with companies in Europe and Germany especially because right, that's where biotech you know, people have been calling that shit out bro like all especially the conservatives be shitting on the motherfucking vaccine now like it just it just became allowed for you to even say anything about covid before you said anything that went against the fucking narrative your ass is getting canceled okay that shit happened to me two times on youtube bro i ain't i ain't even i ain't even say nothing bro i was just covering news about it they, and they blocked my shit for like misinformation and i wouldn't even put nothing out bro you know what i'm saying i didn't even know how i felt on the vaccine at that point i know how to i know how it is now but now it's permitted conversations to be had you can pretty much say anything about covid now because a lot of people know it was a crock of bullshit it was a crock of bullshit so for him sitting there saying people ain't called it out that's a bunch of cap is from in order to create a ma or a manufacture a vaccine that was causing excess dust all around the world there are so many different people that we motivated to call this out how do you explain the fact that no one, it no, it's a handful of people where are the governments Fuck. calling it where are the academic a... institutions calling it where are the other private companies calling it out wouldn't you stand to make a killing if you were a private company in europe and you could say look the mrna vaccines for sure are causing all of these issues why wouldn't putin why Bruh, wouldn't Xi Jinping? What why would... about? i don't i don't have no receipts i don't have no receipts but i know i've read I've seen and I've read shit about all these scientists pre-COVID calling out the bullshit and these fools getting canceled, losing licenses, getting fired, getting ridiculed, getting criticized, getting ostracized because they're going against the fucking narrative, dog. And the, the people still pumping the fucking COVID out are still aligned with the elites, big pharma big money all these fools bro like it's it's hard to it's still it would still be hard to push against that shit not as much it will you know you're not gonna get canceled but you still have a, it's still gonna be an uphill battle you know what i mean like these fools rule the world and they good at making the matrix look like the fucking matrix bro so regardless of what he's saying that's cap people have been calling the bullshit out they have been calling the bullshit out and they've been they've been calling out much more than ever now because we see there was a time where the people that was getting vaccinated the ones that kept getting fucking sick and shit people that weren't getting vaccinated were better off than the motherfuckers that was getting vaccinated and people kept getting sick over and over and over again after they were fucking vaccinated dog is a bunch of bullshit anybody else in the world call this out it was as horrible as it was there are plenty of people attempting to call nobody out credible and no huge institution what do you make of the excess deaths 
You haven't come up with a bloody hypothesis. I don't even know if there are 20% at the excess deaths in Europe right now. If I had to guess off the top of my head, it's going to be, like you said, one might be lingering effects of an overwhelmed healthcare system. Another one might be uh, deaths related to the war in Ukraine. Another one might be rising energy costs that have happened for a couple of reasons. But it's absolutely impossible that any of it could be unintended consequences of a novel technology injected into billions of people. I think that if excess, first of all, there aren't billions of people in Europe. So if there were excess there deaths, were. I understand, but you're talking about excess deaths in Europe. I'm not aware of excess deaths that exist in other places that are completely and totally unaccounted for, where the only explanation would be the vaccine. I think if well, there were, I think more people would be talking about it. Well, we have to, well, first of all, the number of people talking about something is not an indication of the scientific validity of a claim. Quite I agree contrary. with that, but for well, a vaccine- Well, then why are you a... using mass consensus as, a, as the determinant of what constitutes because truth? Because I think for That's something- That's never been the case. Because mm. I think for something that was given to billions and billions of people, if this was something that would have a measurable effect on people, it would be it would be impossible to cover it up or ignore it. Well, we wouldn't have to look at the one case brought up on a, point, on a man. documentary. We wouldn't have to look at the one thing being talked about. Then what do you, you know, make but, of the VAERS data? The VAERS There's more negative side effects reported from the mRNA vaccines than there were reported for every single vaccine ever created since the dawn of time, and not by a small margin. So it's not just the excess deaths. I agree. It's the VAERS data. What is VAERS data? It's the data base that until the COVID-19 pandemic emerged and we had the unfortunate consequence that there were so many side effects being reported, it was the gold standard for determining whether or not vaccines were safe. And now as soon as it started to misbehave on the mRNA uh, vaccine front, we decided that we were going to doubt the validity of the VAERS reporting system. Okay, the VAERS reporting system never been the gold standard for anything. VAERS reporting is just if you want to report that there is some issue that you have after getting a vaccine. That's it. I think it's what vaccine, vaccine adverse. What the hell do you think it was set up for? To, to report adverse events Why? that happen after a vaccine. Why? To track and see if something was related to the vaccine. Right. right? So Why? most people, most people didn't even know VAERS existed until after the COVID vaccine. Once people know that it exists, of course, more people are, are going to engage with it. But what happens- So it's all noise. Report, no, it, well, it could be or couldn't be. So what do you do when a bunch of stuff- Well, being, you first of all, might you so might begin by it, suggesting that maybe it's not all noise. Correct. So when Especially all of these the things are deaths. admitted to VAERS, what they do is from there, they investigate. All you can do, all of that, all VAERS is, is I might go and get a vaccine and maybe in three days ago, hmm, I got a headache. I'm gonna go ahead and like call my doctor and, and make this report. And they'll say, okay, well, it's an adverse event after vaccine. It doesn't mean the vaccine caused the headache. And now that more people know about this system than ever. I'm sure, saying I'm that just the saying VAERS, that VAERS system is not the gold standard of determining if a vaccine is working or not. Compared to what? Compared to actual uh, longitudinal perspective, randomized control trial you studies. You mean like the ones they should have done to the goddamn vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> they did do for that, oh, they continue yes. to this day. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. They, yes, you really correct. think that you're in a position to evaluate the scientific credibility. Of the Hey, this shit lit, bro. I'm old, dog. Cause this making me happy, bro. <laughs> this shit is entertaining, bro. What they should have done to the goddamn vaccine. Like what they did. <laughs> Determining if a vaccine is working or not. Compared to what? Compared to actual uh, longitudinal perspective, randomized control trial you studies. You mean like the ones they should have done to the goddamn, goddamn vaccine? Guess. Like the ones that they did do for the oh, vaccines oh, and they continue yes. to do to this day. Yes, that is correct. Yes, you really correct. think that you're in a position they to evaluate the scientific- To this day, yes, that is correct. Yes, you really think that you're in a position to evaluate the scientific credibility of the trials for the vaccines, do you? No, really? I don't. So I have to trust- Then what are you what doing? I, have to do, what well, I, I don't trust I have to trust the bloody data. First of all, you have to trust third party. <laughs> it's like, bitch, who the fuck is you? You ain't nobody. You don't even know what the fuck you're looking at, dog. I am him. <laughs> I'm a fucking scientist, bro. I know what I read, bitch. <laughs> fuck out of here, Destiny. <laughs> hey, hey, JP dropped his dick on the table right now, dog. <laughs> What I, I have, don't trust. I have the, to I trust the blood data. To, you have, first of all, you have to trust third parties to some extent. When you go outside, I don't have to trust. Of course third you do. You do every day. When you turn the keys in your car, you hope your engine doesn't explode. When you're drinking water, you hope that the public water or whatever tap or bottle water you got it out of isn't contaminated or poisoned with cholera. I don't when do you that go, as a consequence of consensus. No, you, you. Of course you do. No, I don't. I do that as a consequence of observing multiple times that when I put the goddamn key in the ignition, <laughs> the truck started. Why do you know it's going to start the fiftieth or the hundredth time? Why do you? How don't many times play do you wear the, with me. I'm you know not perfectly playing well Hume. Why. You don't know if the denim in those jeans isn't leaking into your bloodstream. To some extent, we trust, we have to hey, trust this is hard. third party institutions Except to make determination. Except when they use force. 
Ex How about especially that? when they use force. We trust the police officers. We trust the we judicial do, systems. We do. We, we on the left trust the police. Do to we? To some extent, do we? If somebody's breaking That's into your house, who do you call? Them. I'm not. I'm not a defunder, but if somebody's breaking into your house, you can be the most defund person in the world. Who are you going to call? Are you going to call your neighbor? That's, you call that's a point of contention right there, dog. I would. I'm curious as to how society feels about law enforcement as a whole or the judicial system as a whole. Do you trust them? I guess police. You you expect police to save you in a in a in a was it in a crunch? If you're in a pickle, your life is in danger or whatever. But like, if your freedom is in jeopardy on some bullshit, do you trust the justice system? But I guess law enforcement, I moved the goalposts with it. But still, you're supposed to trust the judicial system, right? How many people trust the judicial system? How many people really trust the judicial system? I'm curious. Call Joe Biden? Are you going to call Obama? Are you going to call the Black Panthers? You're going to call the okay, cops? So, so tell me this. Tell me this then. Because the core issue here is use of force as far as I'm concerned. You know, we, we examined some of the weeds around that. Politicians throughout the world, and this would be true on the conservative side now, in the aftermath of the COVID um, tyranny, because it was more a tyranny than a pandemic, okay. were, are now saying that we actually didn't force anybody to take the vaccine. Bullshit. So what do you think of that claim? Like, so let's define force. I think it's because technically Canada, true, but I think it's silly. What do you mean it's technically true? Define force. Technically forced, true, and that in the United States, at least, I think the idea, what they tried to do, they weren't able to do it because the Supreme Court shot it down, was Biden tried to make it so that OSHA, who's the body that regulates job safety, could make it so that employees had to get vaccinated. Not they did one, do that. Was, or what? Or they'd lose their job. Okay, they did do that. Does that qualify as force? That's why I said technically. Yeah, I know, but, no, not, but I'm a, it's a serious question. I mean, because we need to define what constitutes force be, before we can... It seems to me... You could argue it's a type of force, sure. I mean, I think it'd be silly to say it's nothing. It, it is a type of force. It's the same as a cop telling you you have to do this, you're going to be killed. No, but it's it's right. on the spectrum. Sure, of course, yeah. It's as much force as the mRNA, mRNA vaccines are vaccines. Sure. <laughs> it is a type of force, and the mRNA vaccines okay, are a okay, type of vaccine, so, so Okay, sure. so okay. I look, I really, <laughs> think, I really think the problem was, mm -hmm. with the COVID response, I really think the problem was the use of force. I mean, I can understand to some degree... Although I'm very skeptical of the pharmaceutical companies and far more skeptical than your insistence upon the utility of consensus might lead me to believe you're skeptical of them, which is surprising, I would say, given I'm that very skeptical of them. That's why I'm glad there's multiple companies, multiple countries, multiple academic institutions that do research, and the FDA. Yeah, I'm very skeptical. You should be in any private system. You should be skeptical of every private company, of yeah, course. Sound like Whether it. we're talking media, pharmaceuticals, or automobile manufacturers, yeah. But skepticism doesn't mean a blind adherence to the complete total opposite of whatever it is they're saying, right? They're in doubt, undoubtedly, like if you look at how Alzheimer's research, there's been groundbreaking improvements on drugs to treat Alzheimer's research over the past three years that five years ago, none of these drugs even existed. And now, yeah, so I mean- How about if you're skeptical of anyone who's willing to use force to put their doctrine forward? Then, you, then you're skeptical of, of literally every single person, political ideology ever that to ever fair. have existed in, in all of humankind. That's well, not some fair degree at all, of force. bro. They put they put the blades in everybody's fucking throat with that goddamn COVID shit, bro. Like that's I mean you, it's a spectrum of shit. You can sit here, like you say, you can sit here and call anything force, but the manner in which they forced everybody to put that fucking vaccine in them was a bunch of bullshit. A bunch of bullshit. And nobody's seen anything like it. We can't sit here and compare it to any other type of force that we've experienced. No, fuck that. You would I'm undoubtedly believe this, right? Some degree of force is probably necessary for any kind of cohesive society, right? No, I don't believe that. Of course there is. No, even I if don't you had a tribe that. of 100, 120 people, if somebody was uh, if somebody was stealing something, right? You have to. Punish I'd have to that agree person. with Daphne on that shit. I'd have to agree with him on that. To us, for for society to function as a whole, there is uh, there is levels of force. There are levels of force that have to be used. Otherwise, there will be no society. So we got government, police. You can't go out here and do willy nilly. They make sure society is as calm as it can be. You take them motherfuckers away. See where society go. I'm just, I'm just here is how JP is going to debate that. If somebody was, uh, if somebody was stealing something, right, you have to punish that person. I that said earlier that 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 becomes complicated when you're dealing with the psychopathic types, right? So that's a complication. But I would say, generally speaking, okay, that 
the, the necessity to use force is a sign of bad policy. And no, I don't think, see, I'm not particularly Hobbesian. I don't think that the only reason people comport themselves with a certain degree of civility in civilized society is because they're terrified by the fact that the government has a monopoly on force that can be brought against them that at any moment. That ain't what Destiny just said, though. I ain't moving to go for it. That ain't what Destiny just said. Like, people, two things can be true at once. People can know that if you fuck up, force will happen, but at the same time, be a law abiding a citizen because their morals and values are the way they should be. Right? But then you got people's morals who are fucked up, know that they go out here doing some fucked up shit. The government ain't gonna come get that ass. You know what I'm saying? But I think he's moving the goalposts with that one. I think that keeps the psychopaths in line to some degree. But I think that most people are enticed into a cooperative relationship and that formulating the structures that make those relationships possible is a sign of good policy. I've got to, I have to ask, because I have Bars. watched a lot of your stuff I mean, in the past. True. Um, <laughs> that's true, I remember bro. you speaking very that's distinctly true. on this, that for instance, when two men are communicating with each other, there is an underlying threat of force that kind of puts on the guardrails those particular social interactions. For instance, yeah, I the could threat of to force is yeah. don't be psychopathic. What is it? How broader is psychopathic here? Are we defining? Well, I can define it. I mean, sure. Yeah, go for it. Well, a psychopath will gain short-term advantage at the cost of long-term relationship. Okay, that's okay. really the core issue. All right, all right, all right, I'm gonna have to. Uh, this shit, this this damn shit is getting long. I continue watching this shit forever. There's a whole another fucking thirty minutes left. Um, shit was cracking. <laughs> shit was cracking. I enjoyed it. Haven't seen uh, JP pull out the fucking verbal fist to cuss in a minute, dog. And he had, Destiny had JP all types of bother, bro. This shit was fire. Um, what are y'all's thoughts? Did y'all see the whole interview? How y'all feel about JP? How y'all feel, how y'all feel about Destiny? Who, who you think won the debate? Yeah, at the crux of it, I think Destiny's is off his rocker a bit. He's living in La La Land. He's not observing reality for what it is. He's sheep-minded to the fact that he thinks that big farmers on our side and they're not. It's all a fucking business to keep us sick, right? Make you a little bit better, keep us sick. These more, there's cures to everything, bro. There's cures to everything, dog. And the biggest cure is to stop putting all that poison and all this manufactured poison in your body entirely and just get on some Dr. Sebi shit and fix what's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Big Pharma don't want you to know. Big Pharma don't want you to know that. At least don't want you to fucking know that because they want to keep raping your ass financially, man. So, uh, but regardless of the fact, dog, like, this this was fucking fire. <laughs> this was fire-ass debate. I fuck with it. I'm cussing too much. Anyway, um, thoughts.